before. Sir, I haven't seen you before. You've never been here before? Huh? Yes. Oh, yeah. We're gonna we will always bring it to you. So you don't have to move, all right? So, but uh, I hope you enjoy reading that. All right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have Tweety and his wife and family and the little ones with us today. Uh, you all have a good week. <laughs> good week. Mary and the rest of them. So good to see you all. And our family here, our couple. Uh, we, we, I hope we didn't work you hard this week, Brother Johnny. You didn't? You okay? You good. Good. Okay, good. We had him doing something. Had him mopping the floors. Put him on the basketball court. He wore brother email out. <laughs> but but anyway, he, he's with us now, so we kind of keep him in sync. Uh, we ask that you continue to pray for each other. Can we do that? Yeah. How many of you all call one another at, at, during the week sometimes? I mean, the people that you. Okay. I don't think something wrong with calling you every night. And this is how you do it. Can you do that? Sometimes, you know. Yeah, we try to do that. Uh, we pray that God will touch you today. We do have lunch today over at the fellowship hall for everybody. Those who knew how to cook brought some food. Those who didn't know how to cook don't eat the food. So that's what we're going to do today. But also, we're going out and knock doors, and we're going to go to the community and pray with them, their families, that they know God loves them. Uh, so may God keep you today as we go through these Sabbath hours, and be blessed. Is that all right? Yeah. And what happens on next Sabbath? Anybody know? Gym yeah. night, yes. When we have AYM scheduled for at 7 o'clock p.m., and right after AY, we close the Sabbath out with Desperate. We're going to go over to the gymnasium and work out. Is that all right? I did some things over there at the gym. We also, I wanted to put this into your ear. We are preparing to get out doors uh, with some softball, throwing softball. Okay? Mm -hmm. We got a field already out uh, at the Johnson, what was that, a high school or elementary? Johnson, I, 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 Johnson. Yes, that's where that's where our softball field is going to be, and all of the dugouts and seats are there. So we'll be able to, you know, throw around a little bit and get you all back used to catching a, a softball. Is that all right? We have plenty of gloves. You don't have to worry about doing the gloves left-handed or right-handed. So you'll be able to uh, work with that glove so you can catch the softball. Is that okay? All right, so that's going to be our whole activity. We are planning that and getting ready for that. May God keep you. May God bless you. And you have to say. Happy Sabbath again, everybody. At this time, we will do the opening hymn, and that comes to us from our hymnal that's 251. We have to everybody stand and join me singing this one. I serve a risen Savior. He is in the world today. I know that he is living whatever men may say. I know I'm completely 
and never will despair. I know that He is risen through all the stormy clouds. The day of His appearing will come at last. He lives, He lives, as Jesus lives today. He walks with me and he talks with me along the narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. He loves me and all he lives. He lives, he lives, he joins me. The Lord so distant to talk to your voice and say, Eternal hallelujah to Jesus Christ for me. The hope of all who seek him by help of mine. The Lord is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, he lives, as Jesus lives for me. He walks with me and he walks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives, he lives, I know. Stand for our scripture reading. Thank you. Be found in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Let us see. Why don't we read that uh, together? Those two scriptures, Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Let us read it together. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to the right own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. And Thankful that you woke us up this morning. 
And you brought us here on another beautiful Sabbath. You give us the privilege that we can worship you, our King, our Redeemer, the one who loves us and died for us, the one who takes care of us day and night, the one who we live and move and have our being. Without you, Lord, we can't even walk. Without you holding our hand. And we're so thankful that you love us. And Lord, we want to love you back. So Lord, we ask you that you would help us to love you more and more as we study your word. As we work with your people, we ask you, Lord, that you increase our love and our faith and our heart. And help us to be like you. Remember each and every individual here today, Lord. You know our wants and you know our needs. And know, Lord, we ask you that you will help us that through our difficult times in our life, through the pain, through the suffering, through the sickness, and that as you supply our needs, that you will give us those things that would benefit us, those things that would lead us closer and closer to thee. We ask you, Lord, that you would just continue to strengthen us, and we ask you, Lord, that you would be with those who we want to minister today. We ask you that you would just touch their heart and, and, and and send your angels before and that, that their heart will be receptive and that when they receive the literature about you, that they will read it and they will comprehend it and their heart will be touched and they will grow in a closer relationship with you. We ask you, Lord, to remember our community. Remember those in the war zone. Remember those on drugs and alcohol. Zone. Remember those who are homeless and those who are hungry. Those who are long and depressed. We have all kind of situations going on in this world. And so, Lord, we ask you to pray for now a little bit more. And Lord, remember everybody in the whole Bible. So remember us all, Lord. Remember our children and our grandchildren. Remember the pastor. Remember those who are bringing the word of life. We ask you like that you are leading God and he will direct his thoughts and his mind toward you. And that he will only speak what you told him to speak. And that our heart will be open. And we will be blessed, and that we'll go forth and bear fruits of righteousness in Jesus' name. Amen. I must have 